So uh, the first question comes from Redefine Living, and the question is for David now. Uh, Hal Dane's dilemma, and how do you how do you respond to it? I'm not exactly sure what that is right off the top of my head. Hal Dane's dilemma. Okay, Hal Dane's dilemma related to the uh, slightly deleterious effects of random mutation and how populations can put uh, can be uh, sustainable uh, over a vast age of time. Uh, this is one of the earliest dilemmas in the history of genetics. Uh, since you don't want to have a response to it, we'll give Standing for Truth a quick response. And then since the question was for you, you can give one. If you don't have a response, we'll go to the next question. Standing for Truth, quick comment about Haldane's dilemma or no? Sure, yeah. Um, Haldane was a leading population geneticist, and he actually realized, this was a good question from uh, Redefine Living. He realized that even if, Okay, guys, even if there was an abundant and ongoing supply of beneficial mutations, natural selection has limitations and it must be extremely limited in its ability to amplify those mutations to the point of where they are actually fixed within a sizable population because fixation rates are incredibly slow. And there's a huge, huge waiting time problem for ape to man evolution because there would need to be tens or even hundreds of millions of beneficial mutations that arose and then went to fixation within that time frame since the since the split makes evolution impossible. And Haldane wasn't a young earth creationist and he yes. even recognized this problem. That's it. Okay. So uh, the next question is 